Hello, welcome to Math 107. My name is Sherry McLean and I'll be your instructor this quarter as we study a variety of topics that relate math to the real world around us. Um, on our online math class adventure, we're going to be using uh, Canvas and I'd like to introduce you to a few of the features. Even if you are familiar with the Canvas system, it's kind of nice to see how these features will interact with our day-to-day -day work in our classroom. So here's a look. This is what the Math 107 homepage looks like when you first log in. A few buttons that I really want you to pay attention to. Down here on the blue toolbar on the left, the bottom button here is Canvas Help. This is one of those places that you can go if things go wrong, you have questions, or you want to contact me. Um, if we click on this question mark button, notice that a small menu here comes up. The top button here is to report a problem. What this will do is it'll take a screen capture of what you're seeing on your screen and open up a, a ticket to get help from the e-learning department here on campus. They're really great to work with and they'll get back with you on a way to try to resolve your problem. If you want to ask a question to me, of course, you're welcome to email or use a variety of methods, but Canvas has kind of its own internal email se uh, system and you can click on this ask your instructor a question button. Right now you're in Math 107, Math and Society, so you would click on this course and then you can just type your message in here. When you click on send a message, uh, it will go over into my email inbox um, and then I can reply back. When I have an answer back for you. You'll see a little button here on your inbox and that will tell you that you've gotten a message back. So this is kind of a really great way to work on things. If you've absolutely never used Canvas before, I'd really recommend that you use this Canvas student orientation course. It's just a real simple thing you can wander through by yourself and it'll give you a lot more detail about various Canvas features here that, that uh, you can use as you're here. All right. Um, a couple of other things that are nice to point out. Over here you'll see a to-do list. This is the assignments that you need to be turning in um, that are coming up. So this will give you a little bit of a heads up here. You can kind of glance over here and see what the assignments are. Keep in mind, in our class, assignments have work that you do before you actually come over and take a quiz or do a project. You need to learn the material. Um, so make sure as you scan through this, um, all of these things here like getting started module and as you scroll down, you'll see that there's a whole bunch of like learning things that you need to do first before you get to the assignments. So think of the assignments here as a to-do list over on the right hand side. It's good to keep you on track, but make sure that you're doing all of the reading and the practice before you actually do those assignments so that you can do a good job on them um, and continue to learn and grow in your math skills, um, which is what we're hoping for in this class. Um, I've really limited the number of buttons that you have over here, so it's real easy to get around. Home just gets you to this screen, which has everything that you need to do all the time. Um, the announcements periodically, I will, uh, usually about once a week or so, I will post a reminder about what's coming up, give you some a few hints and tips and tricks that you can kind of go through. So glance at this every now and then. Announcements are nice because they generally also appear in your um, actual student email, so you kind of get a, a notification that things are coming through. If you ever want to look at your grades, I do, I'm really good about keeping grades up to date here. Click on the grades button. Up here in the top right hand side, you'll see what the percentage is that you're getting in the class right now. My test student here took the practice quiz and only got seven out of 20. That's what you get when you apparently randomly push buttons. Um, so not a great score, um, but that's why this particular student's grades are so low. Um, and then you can see any of the other assignments that are coming down here. Uh, a few other things that you may see sometimes. Sometimes you'll see um, little symbols here and if you hover or just leave your mouse over the top of it, it will give you a little bit of information. Uh, a lot of times you'll be waiting for a score like it's waiting for me to grade one of the problems or something like that and, and uh, you can see that I haven't quite gotten to it yet. Once I do grade things, you'll see little symbols that show up over here on the right hand side. If I make a comment, for example, on one of your quizzes, they'll show up here. If there was some sort of a rubric, you'll be able to see a more detailed um, set of information and comments here and get some feedback, which is especially nice on quizzes and projects as you're preparing um, to go through. And you can scroll down and see all the due dates, all the assignments that we have coming up in the class and what they are all worth. Um, and I've got that all set up already for you. Glancing back at the home button here at the top again. Um, so again, you'll always have assignments or instructions kind of coming down here that you can wander through 
and then you'll have assignments just below that that you're responsible for doing. As you finish and submit them, you'll get little check marks here. It's a nice way to keep yourself on track and, and make sure you're getting things done when you need to. Do notice down here you see due dates for every single assignment. Um, keep track of those. Those are final due dates. Um, you are allowed to submit things early. Just um, make sure that you have things in no later than midnight of the due dates that they have here. There is a help and resources um, module, I guess, here uh, where you can go through. This is a full textbook download in case you just want to store that offline somewhere. Uh, I do have smaller sections of the textbook available with links online farther on. So this is just kind of a, a backup if you need it. Um, where to go to help with math. So if you want some tutoring help, um, if you have technology problems or just need general support, or this is a, a discussion board as well that you can use. Let's take a look at that so you can see what this is. This is just a general questions for Sherry discussion board. If you want to ask questions about the class uh, of any sort, this just goes straight to me. You can click on reply and type a message in here using whatever types of things you would like to do. You can post the reply and then I can come back in and answer things along those lines. Uh, you will have discussion post things that you will need to do for this course. Um, and that's really all there is to making a to, to making a post on those discussion boards. Again, if you ever get lost, just click back on the home button, and uh, you'll see where you get. So anyway, I hope this has been a helpful little overview of the different pieces available in the class. Oh, the other thing I wanted to mention here, you see how all of these, uh, module one, for example, is grayed out. That just means that this unit is not available to you yet, and at the end, you'll see when that unit will, will unlock. I really just unlock one unit at a time. It gives me time to make some uh, improvements on the back end, and it keeps us all on the same schedule for the class. So if you have any questions, definitely keep me going. I'm excited to be working with you this quarter, and I hope this helps you get around Canvas a little.